Hi, I'm Brayden, co-founder at Robo. We're gonna review how to get started with your Robo R2 high-performance smart 3D printer with Wi-Fi, so you're up and printing in a matter of minutes. Before you start, please register your Robo R2 for any servicing or warranty needs if they're ever required. You can register your product by visiting robo3d.com slash register. Okay, let's get started. This video will cover unboxing, getting to know Robo R2, initial setup, connecting to Wi-Fi, software update, calibration, loading filament, test print, removing the test print, printing from USB, and next steps for total connectivity. Unboxing Robo R2. To unbox Robo R2, start by pulling out the Robo R2 box from the brown shipping box. Now, remove the three clips by pinching and pulling them out. Once they are out, the top box will easily come off. Using scissors, cut the zip tie from the plexiglass door. Remove the blue tape on the accessories box. Then, pull out the accessories box. Remove the top foam piece. Then, remove the cardboard that's inside the printer. Keep in mind that the information highlighted in this video is also available in the RoboR2 Quick Start Guide inside of the accessories box. Next, remove the four protective gantry clips by pushing them over sideways with your thumb on the clip's round area. Do not pull straight up. Then, cut the rest of the zip ties that hold the gantry together. Remove the blue tape on the spool holders. Also, remove the protectors on the plexiglass door. Now, remove the rest of the blue tape that's inside the printer. And finally, using both hands, locate the hand inserts on the bottom of the printer and carefully lift it from the bottom foam box. Inside the accessories box, you'll find everything you need to get started. Quick Start Guide. Autodesk Fusion 360 free one-year subscription. Robo USB stick. Toolbox, which includes Z-Offset tool, lubricant, two Allen wrenches, tweezers, hot end cover, stylus and Robo stickers, spatula, filament feed tube, power cables and power supply, and a box of filament. Getting to know Robo R2. Now, let's take a look at all of the key things that make up Robo R2 3D printer. Here are the major parts of the Robo R2. Filament feed holes, filament release button, extruder nozzle, filament feed tube, interactive touchscreen, front USB port, filament sensor block, two filament spool holders, power switch, power in, plexiglass door, print bed, onboard camera, ethernet port, and back USB port. Initial setup. Now let's move forward with your initial setup of Robo R2. Magnetically attach the extruder faceplate from the accessories box to extruder assembly. From here, you'll want to connect the power cord to the designated area on the back of the printer and then plug it into an AC outlet. Now go ahead and turn on the R2 power switch. Connecting to Wi-Fi. We highly recommend connecting Robo R2 to Wi-Fi. This allows you to directly print from the Robo app or Chromebooks. To begin, select Utilities on home screen. Select Network. Select Configure Wi-Fi. Robo R2 will scan available networks. This may take a few moments. Now, select your Wi-Fi network and use the on-screen keyboard to enter your password. Once you're done, select Connect. Software Update. Ensure your software is up to date. It's the best way to confirm that your machine is operating with the most recent functionalities available whenever we release them. Select Utilities on home screen. Select Update. The screen will say up to date if software is already updated. If not, select update and the update will begin. We recommend you follow this process regularly to ensure the software is always up to date. Calibration and Z offset. 
Next, you'll want to calibrate RoboR2. Before you begin, make sure the print bed is properly seated and doesn't move. You can do this by pushing on each corner of the print bed. To begin calibrating your RoboR2, select Utilities on the home screen, and then select Wizards from the list. From here, you'll select Z Offset Wizard. You will use the included Z Offset tool for the next several steps in this section to adjust and calibrate your Z Offset. Tap the up arrow on the touchscreen until you raise the print bed to about 1 16th of an inch or 1.5 millimeters below the nozzle. Slide the Z Offset tool between the nozzle and the print bed. Tap the up arrow on the touchscreen until you feel slight resistance against the Z Offset tool as you slide it between the nozzle and print bed. Keep in mind that if it feels or looks like the nozzle is digging into the Z offset tool, there is too much resistance. In that case, press the down arrow on the touchscreen until you feel only slight resistance. Once you feel the Z offset tool has slight resistance, select Done. Robo R2 will take a moment to capture the Z offset calibration. Press Save to finish calibration. Loading filament. To begin loading filament, press Open Filament Spool Holder 1, the one at the top. Insert filament feed tube into filament sensor block. Hang filament spool onto the spool holder. Unroll filament and cut the tip with scissors. Thread it through the appropriate area of the filament sensors block base and into the filament feed tube until it comes out the other side. Now select Utilities on the home screen. Then select Wizards from the list. Select Filament Loading Wizard and then follow the steps on screen. Select Start to begin filament loading process. The printer will take a few moments to heat the extruder. Since we've already cut the tip, you can skip this step and press Next. Push down filament into filament feed gear until it grabs the filament and pulls it down. Now, pull the filament feed tube down to cover the filament. Filament will feed through the extruder and out the nozzle. When you see this, select Next. You have successfully loaded the filament and are now ready to print. Test Print. To create your first test print, select Files on the home screen. Then, select a file to print from the list. Now select Start to begin the print process. Wait several seconds while RoboR2 prepares to print the file. The file will begin printing. Note that you have the option to select Pause to pause your print, or you can select Cancel to cancel your print. If you have trouble printing, contact Robo Customer Service for support. 844-476-2633. Removing the test print. When the test print is complete and cooled down after about five to 10 minutes, open the R2 door. Lift print bed from a front corner, then pull out print bed. Your print should easily remove from the print bed once it's cooled. If the print is too difficult to remove, carefully use the supplied spatula to gently pry it free. Also, keep in mind the following. Do not force print removal by lifting directly upward. Instead, remove it at an angle by lifting from one of its corners. Printing from a USB. If you want to print via USB, save a file onto a USB drive and safely eject it from your computer. Insert the USB drive into the USB port on the front of the printer. Select Files from the touchscreen. Then, select USB folder from the list. Select the file you would like to print. Next, choose whether you would like to upload the file directly to the printer or print directly from the USB. Finally, select Start to start the print. Next steps for total connectivity. To enjoy the most complete 3D printing experience, be sure to download the Robo app for your mobile device and follow the in-app setup instructions. And since Robo R2 features a built-in onboard camera, the app also lets you easily watch your print come to life in real time, no matter where you are. If you want to print from your laptop or desktop computer, you'll also want to install Cura preparation software for RoboR2 using the supplied USB or download it directly at robo3d.com software.
Don't forget to check out the online owner's manual for more information about the printer at robo3d.com manual. And be sure to join our Robo community for more tips, tricks, and in-depth discussions by visiting our forum at community.robo3d.com. If you ever have questions or need help with RoboR2, our industry-leading customer support team is always available, day or night, at 844-476-2633, or email us at help at robo3d.com. And as always, happy making! <laughs>